off the backside of the summit has got to be the the pinnacle for sure. There's so many places that uh, people don't know about. Probably a few places that we don't even know about, and we've been here a long time. Uh, when I first got here, they just put in the Northwest chair, so that was a real big deal. Opened up a bunch of new terrain. So, uh, you know, back in the day, like every year in Ski Magazine, Bachelor was rated as one of the top for lifts. And so it's cool to maybe cycle around and get back into, you know, seeing some improvements in terms of the new Cloud Chaser chair. I think everybody's pretty stoked to see that happen. My name is Eric Corman, and I've worked up here at Mount Bachelor for 25 years, they tell me. I'm Mark Elling. I've been here in Central Oregon 20 years and worked at the shop for 18 of those. 25 years ago, they were really making a major effort to upgrade their chairs, which were pretty much all fixed gripped in that time. Uh, they've put in three or four chairs, including the Summit chair, the Northwest chair. Uh, they rebuilt the Pine Martin chair, which is here behind us. And now we're going to luck out and get a brand new chair. Cloud Chaser chair is going to open up some terrain that uh, most people have never had the opportunity to ski. It's all below what was originally called the East Catch Line. Uh, they hope to open up over 600 acres of uh, of new terrain and that's not something that you see at most ski areas anymore. New terrain actually being open for the first time. Yeah, I think uh, the Cloud Chaser chair terrain is, is super fun. It's a little low angle, it's just kind of like the east side extended. Um, so lots of hummocks and rolls and gullies, um, open clearings and some tight trees. And I think that it is going to extend the run on the east side on a summit day where you just keep rallying right past the catch line and down into that lower terrain and then to the base of the cloud chaser chair. And that's going to be awesome to have that additional vert. Um, but I think that on a storm day when summit's not running, it's going to open up a ton of terrain for, for people who've loved to ride rainbow and I just can't tolerate how slow it is. Um, so uh, it's going to open up uh, a really good storm day option on the east side of the mountain. So it's going to spread people out and there's going to be a lot of good house skiing over there. What I love about my bachelor is um, I met my wife here. My son started skiing here before they were two. They're now 14 and way better skiers than I ever thought I could possibly be. And so to be able to watch that on a daily basis and the kids that they get to ski with and uh, have a really good uh, family experience up here, that's what keeps me coming back. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great vibe. I mean, the local scene and people really love this mountain and, you know, have their areas that they love to ski and ride. And uh, I think that's something that everybody has in common here is just, you know, their particular stash or the kind of day they like to be up at Mount Bachelor. So um, there is a real camaraderie when you're on the hill. And working with people at Gravity Sports, I mean, that crew is, is really a, a great bunch of folks, which keeps me coming back every year.